in Massachusetts I wanted to talk about um, the least expensive way to get a divorce uh, and that is called um, an uncontested petition. That's one that both parties would have to have an agreement. Both parties would file a joint petition for divorce. They would file something called a separation agreement, which is a divorce agreement. But that has to address all the different issues. And that would talk about if they're children, child custody, legal and physical, child support, uh, alimony, whether there's a payment of alimony or a waiver of past, present, and future, division of marital assets, um, things of that nature, including health insurance, life insurance, et cetera. But the idea that you have a full agreement and you would have the joint petition and you would just request an uncontested court date. There's a little bit more to that. Many times people, it's a little bit overwhelming for people, even if they think that they can reach an agreement to do that on their own. And then the, the next least expensive way to, to handle that instead of a do-it-yourself divorce is to hire either one party hires an attorney to represent their interest or both parties hire a divorce mediator to do all the, the paperwork and go through all the options. Many times where people that have no involvements with lawyers or mediators might be missing a step or missing some paperwork or not having everything that they need to have addressed in the separation or divorce agreement. Another option is if you work on the divorce agreement on your own, you can sometimes pay an attorney for an hour or two of his or her time to go over the agreement and the financial statements with you to t let you know whether there are any red flags or not. Those are generally the least expensive ways to uh, get a divorce in Massachusetts. The judge still has to approve the agreement, but it's less, uh, less conflict, less time, and less expense than if it's a contested divorce.